What's up, YouTube? JD reacts. Got a video for y'all today. Um, I'm pretty. I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm in a good mood. Um, I'm always in a good mood for the most part when I'm making a video for y'all. But before we get into this video, y'all know the deal. Y'all know what's up. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that like for this video. And we just gonna cut it straight there. So, um, so yeah, this video today. So it's not a reaction video. And also. Um, if y'all haven't been watching my previous videos that I've been posting on my channel, when you guys get a chance, or even after this video, because y'all please go to my channel and, um, you know, watch those videos for me. You know, give me some feedback. Show me some love. Give them videos some likes. You know, and, um, also for the people that are viewing me, make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you watch more than one of my videos, you might as well subscribe, man, like. You know, some people that might click on me are like, you know, who is this guy? I don't know him. He's just on YouTube. Okay, that's fine. But if you don't watch more than one of my videos, if you don't watch two or three of my videos, you might as well subscribe, man, because you, you just scrolling through my catalog. So you might as well just hit smash that subscribe button, man. Like, it ain't going to hurt you. But, but yeah, I appreciate y'all, though, man. Um, I appreciate all the support I been getting. And, you know, just all the traffic that's been coming in, all the traffic, trafficking that's been coming into my channel. But, yeah, um, so in this video, title of this video, if you ever feel like giving up, watch this. So, I said that in the title because that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. For any, for any of you that's been feeling like giving up out there or been feeling like not trying no more. You're watching the right video today to help you, and we're just going to talk about, um, you know, because in my other video, I talked about kind of what I'm about to talk about in this video, which is perseverance, and that's basically to give you a short definition, or, you know, my interpretation of the word is not giving up, pushing through whatever, basically, so... If you guys ever felt like giving up and you don't want to give up or at this moment you feel like just giving up whatever you're doing or just giving up on your life, whatever it is, you feel like giving up on, I don't know, it, it doesn't matter what it is, but if you ever feel like giving up on anything or giving up on yourself and giving up on a relationship, a friendship, and you, and you know that it got potential to work out, it got potential to be better. Or no matter what it is, man, like, the point of this video, if you ever feel like giving up, don't, basically. Um, there's plenty of times we all felt like giving up before. There's plenty of times we all felt like something wasn't working, something wasn't, you know, going as planned, or, you know, nothing happens overnight, y'all. Nothing happens within a couple of days. Nothing happens within a week of doing something like it could be anything it could be um some people got addictions uh i know me i, I used to be addicted to like certain foods and i had and i had got on a diet uh i had to cut those certain foods off or i might have been addicted to a game and i wasn't good at it but i was addicted to it and i was so addicted to the game and so driven into the game and I just kept losing, kept raging and I just wasn't good at it, you know, to make a long story short on that. Um, but yeah, you know, you gotta be persistent sometimes in life, man. Perseverance, you know, that's one of the major key words, uh, you know, that I've been bringing up a lot in my last video. Um, but yeah, that's one of the key words, perseverance. So. You know, we can't give up, y'all. Like, just because something's not working out right away or it's not working out when you want to, that doesn't mean give up, you know? Because you never know when your time is coming. You never know when something is going to pop off or you never know when you're going to prosper, when you're going to elevate, when something is going to change if something, or, or whenever you're going to get better results or a better outcome. You just never know. This world is full of surprises and... You know, things happen in mysterious ways. Uh, you know, God works in mysterious ways. 
and you know that's just what it is like uh you know you got a lot of people that have talent that have a lot of potential uh and things didn't work out for them as planned or as expected and then they just let their talent or whatever they're good at or whatever they put so much time into and got far but they didn't get as far as they wanted they just gave up and you know i feel like the only way something really won't work out for you is if it's something like you just absolutely cannot do like um was something that that I absolutely could not do no matter how hard I wanted to do it. It was something I remember uh I'm trying to think. I remember I had a crush like when I was little, like well no, I'm not gonna bring up that story. I'm trying to think something like productive. Something like a something I was actually trying to pursue. Uh Remember one try one time I tried to be a dancer and that didn't work out for me. Um like I don't have a natural talent to dance. I could possibly learn how to dance. I could poss possibly get a coach or a dance tutor or a choreographer. Whatever you call those people that teach you how to dance, dance instructor, dance tutor, dance teacher, whatever. You know they all the same. I could possibly learn new moves, learn new rhythms, uh, learn like the fundamentals of dancing, uh, and get the cardio down pat. Cause dancing is a lot of cardio. It's a lot of moving around. It's a lot of, it's real active. Like dancing is like a real, it's kind of like an art really. Yeah. It's like an art. Well, it is art. Um, uh, Cause you got some people that's famous dancers that can do backflips all over the place, front flips all over the place, can just do crazy moves. And some people just got the type of body structure and bone structure to do certain dance moves, to do certain, uh, you know, like, have you ever seen somebody just wiggly? Like, <laughs> like I'm not trying to be silly, but like, I seen people like even off a of movie, but I remember I I used to go to like talent shows in school or like events, like dance events, uh, you know, in the past and like some people just got some people just got more flexibility and like more wiggliness. Like I can't explain it. Like some people just got that special them special joints in their bone or. I don't know how to explain it. Some people just built for that shit. Like, literally, like, some people just built for dancing. But I remember I wanted to be a dancer so bad. But the thing about it is dancing wasn't really my passion. I could have got better at it. I could have, you know, got a dance instructor or a dance tutor. Or I could have been trying to perfect or practice my craft. But I'm like, it's something I don't truly in my heart or, or is passionate about doing. It's just something I wanted to do at the time to look cool or impress females. But it's like... I never really was good at it, but, you know, I could have got good at it, maybe, but, you know, who knows, but, um, so it, it all starts, like, in life, like, what you really want to do, um, what you've been good at, what you truly got a passion for, and I feel like if you truly got a passion for something, and you truly got the drive, the motivation, the dedication, you put in the hard work, the time, the, the effort, and you just give it your all and just go in full throttle mode. I feel like anything could work out for you. Like, you know, some people are more physically or just gifted than other people. Some people have more talents than others, more gifts than others. Some people have gifts, but they might not. It had the gift as other people, or some people are slower learners, some people are faster learners, some people pick up things right away, some people take years to perfect. But uh, once, your, once your craft is perfected, you know, that's all that matters at the end, and that's all that, you know, that's what you work hard, and that's what you strive for, so it's like, that's all that's going to matter to you, and that's all that's going to really... That's all that's gonna really like matter. Well, at least to me. Um, but yeah, basically like, um, that, like don't give up, y'all. Like, 
don't give up because uh really you only fail when you give up you only lose when you give up you keep going at something like and there's so many it's so many inspirational and motivational speakers uh they explain to you like their life story and before they came up they didn't tell you like that shit wasn't easy shit it, it, it might not have been hard it, it was just really a challenge but nothing was never just easy it just happened overnight or happened as soon as they did it and sometimes you just look at people like you look at people life you look at people's success and you just think like basically like dang they just you know of course they successful they wealthy you know they got everything that they ever wanted in life and it's like you just look some people like look at those people like dang i wish i had what they got and you know some people be envious and jealous of those people you know i've never been that type of person and i don't you know i know a couple people that like that but they're no longer you know around me and you know i would never allow nobody with those type of motives or those type of intentions around me and you know, I just don't want anybody that's negative around me. But, yeah, like, you just can't give up. And then those people, you don't know what they honestly have been through. Like, the, like you know, they had testimonies and they had, like, you know, Bessie, like, uh, they confessed. And well, there was really nothing to confess about, but they basically... Um, they explain like their background, what things that they've been through, their experiences, and just the whole, the whole trial and error that they went through. And you know, you never, you would never know, like you would never know what a person did to get to where they at. It, it was, I, it was, I'm quite sure it was countless nights, countless days, so many hours, so many. Uh, times that they fail and pick themselves right back up until they got it like and just consistency like also uh consistency like consistency that's a big that's a big key word too when it comes to not giving up and you know making it and you know i just wanted to give a little give a little positivity give a little enlightenment um you know just encouraging words to y'all uh, for my people viewing me right now, um, but basically, yeah, like, you know, you got perseverance, uh, that's what I talked about in my other video, perseverance, you got consistency, uh, what was, what was the other word I was talking about, perseverance, consistency, and... I don't know why I just my mind just went blank like this. Uh, I'm gonna just say hard work, dedication. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, like your work ethic, uh, the time that you put in, your effort. You know, all those apply to you know, really obtaining success, achieving whatever it is you're trying to achieve. And, you know, guys, just never give up. You know, that's all I'm trying to tell y'all. That's all I'm trying to preach to y'all in this video. If you ever feel like giving up, don't. This is a message to anyone that feel like giving up right now. That's, that's been having multiple times of giving up. And trust me, guys, I've been in your shoes. Um... A numerous amount of times on so many different occasions all then you know been in that been in that been in that same boat i feel like giving up even like not too long ago like i say oftenly probably like every other week every other month you know i run across that issue but i'm to the point now i don't train my mind so much you know to just keep moving forward to not look back and to keep improving, keep bettering myself each and every day, each and every time I make a video, each and every time that chance I get, really. And, you know, that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video, for real. Uh, 
But yeah, don't don't give up because when you give up, you only really hurting yourself. You're not hurting nobody else. Um, and it's like okay, one last thing I'm gonna say. You didn't came far, or you didn't did so much, and you give up, right? Now, what if you would have kept trying for one more day, or one more month, or one more week, one more year, two more years, and then it just finally worked out for you. It just finally uh, came to life, came to reality. Everything that you ever dreamed of, everything that you ever, you know, wanted to accomplish. No, I haven't gotten everything I dreamed of or gotten everything I accomplished, you know? And even people that's accomplished a lot, like people that's very successful, much more successful than I am yourself or maybe you guys, they still got things they have to accomplish. Uh, you know, they still have things that's on their to-do list, things that's on their goal, their goal board or things on their bucket list that they got to scratch off. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, the year, man, like. It's always another day, and it's never, it's never too many things you can achieve. Don't ever limit yourself. Like, make the sky the limit. Matter of fact, make the fucking space the limit, the galaxy the limit. Like, don't limit yourself at all. Like, it's so much that we can do. We all have a mind. We all have knowledge. We all have the ability to gain knowledge. We all have a brain. We all have two hands, two legs, two feet. We have all the resources that we need. And even if we don't have all the resources, we have the ability, you know, to get all the resources and tools that we need. So never give up, man. Like, people who fail, not, well, I'm going to say in every case scenario, those people that gave up, people that's failing right now or people that have nothing or People that's homeless, like, not trying to, you know, speak bad on homeless. Some people are, you know, lost their homes to, like, uh, a tragedy, a uh, disaster, a natural disaster, or just a very unfortunate situation. But some people that had the opportunity to better themselves or to keep, keep what they had going on and they just lost everything, a lot of those people just gave up and got discouraged by something. And I know sometimes things can get hard. Sometimes things can discourage you. But you got to learn how to just pick yourself back up. It's all about just picking yourself back up and telling yourself, like, it's, it's you know, if I give up, what what, what am I going to gain from that? What What is that going to do for me? And you just got to learn how to, even when you feel like giving up, you know, and even after you pick yourself back up, it may be another time that you feel like giving up. But you just got to train yourself and really just say to yourself, talk to yourself and tell yourself, you know, I need to pick my, I need to, you need to pick yourself back up and don't fold because it's not going to do you no good. And it's always another day to do better. It's always another time to do better. You can always come better next time. Next time go wrong. You can always do better. And things take time. Things take really hard work. And, you know, and if things were easy, if things were easy, like say if it was easy to get rich, easy to do whatever, easy to, like say if you're trying to get good at a, a basketball game or, I mean a video game or say you're trying to get good at basketball, whatever it is, man. Um... You know, it's like when you accomplish it or when you do, when you finally do what you have wanted to, you're like, man, this junk was easy. It's like, it's really nothing to appreciate about it. It's really nothing to really have, not brag, but to feel pride, proud about yourself or to credit yourself. Like, it's, now, if it was hard, if it took a lot of hard work, countless nights, a lot of dedication, a lot of trial and error, and you finally achieved, and you did what you wanted to do, or, you know, got that particular goal, and you're like, man, this, this feels good, like, I don't went through so, I don't went through so much to do this, I don't, you know, I don't, 
lost and sacrificed so much to be able to be where I'm at or to do what I'm doing right now. And you will really appreciate that once you know that you worked hard and you went through so much to achieve it and you don't went through so many, you know, trial and error, you know, as I was saying, and just so much, uh, trying to think what's another way I could word it, um, you just went through so many ups and downs and so many obstacles that was in your path. And that'll just make you feel so proud of yourself. And it'll just feel like a bigger reward. And, you know, you guys get exactly what I'm trying to explain. But, yeah, I'm not going to make this video too long. JDE reacts again. Um, But, yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Please make sure if you haven't yet. You know to hit that like button for this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't either i will see y'all in the next video stay tuned keep your eyes glued and you know watch out for them posts i'm coming i'm coming as much as i can i'm coming to you guys every day with some type of content and i got much more content to come you may be surprised on what the next video is going to be about but just stay tuned and just keep in mind that jde is going to post again but uh, I'll see y'all guys. Take care of yourself.